Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I'm gonna do a firewood video today, just do some various things. So yeah, I'm actually at my source I've mentioned before. Uh, <clears throat> my tree service friend, you know, his yard where he uh, comes and dumps all his tree debris and whatnot. So yeah, you never know what you're gonna find out here. And I've identified a couple of good piles I'm gonna be working on here shortly. Here's one here. This looks pretty fresh. I believe this dropped this week. So this is water oak or swamp oak. I see you got some really big pieces. I'm not really worried about the huge pieces. I don't want to have to worry about handling those. Uh, but yeah, yeah, this is a good section here. As you see, it's pretty straight. It's got a knot in it right there, but I'll just go ahead and cut these, this section into firewood, you know, lengths and on down the line here. And as you see, there's some more good little sections right here on the bottom. That one, you know, that's going to be a good section there. Some other smaller pieces. I think there's uh Underneath this one here, this log, once I cut it up, I believe there's another good, you know, long straight section underneath it. So I'll be cutting it up as well. So I'm gonna cut up what I can and just load it up onto my truck here. And like I said, there's some other piles. Actually, there's a good pile of pecan uh, that has some good logs in it, good sections of logs in it. I'm gonna be cutting up as soon as I get done with this. And some more water oak so uh, unfortunately there's some people up here that have decided to join me uh, not right now but obviously they've been throughout the way i think i know who it is uh but anyway they're they're primarily looking for i guess more seasoned wood that i've noticed they're not looking for more of the fresh you know cut you know timber that kind of thing so yeah so it's all good i mean there's plenty of wood out here for uh for us both Although I imagine they're probably getting a lot more work time during the week, you know, cutting and splitting. Of course, they, they got a tractor too, so that helps. I wish I had me a tractor out here that I could use to, you know, work on some of these logs and move them around and that kind of thing and make it a little easier, but always trying to be careful. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get some footage cutting this, some of these logs up here and some more of the pecan. And uh, I'll be putting my sign up you know at my wood yard where i you know store everything i'll be putting my sign up you know since i've got the bins ready to go eighty dollars a bin eight dollars a bundle so yeah we'll talk more about that later yeah i'll get set up and we'll cut some of these logs got my 362c ready to go uh the chain is not it's not old but uh yeah i've been cutting a good bit with it here lately so i made sure to sharpen it earlier and gas it up and oil it up so it's ready to go so hopefully it'll be cutting good i'm gonna try to get done by the way i'm only working half a day i'm not working all day i'm gonna work to probably 12 31 o'clock be done so i'm gonna try to get done here so i can head to my wood yard as soon as possible anyway i hope you're having a great day guys great weekend talk to you soon <laughs>
I got, so I moved the truck around to the other two piles I was telling you about earlier. Got a good little batch of water oak onto the truck loaded up, some pretty big logs. So yeah, here's some more water oak to the left of my truck. Uh, pretty straight, some straight sections there, so it'll be nice. I had to work too hard for it. And over here, guys, got a really good score. This is all pecan. Really good straight logs. You know, I better get a lot of logs, a lot of pecan logs from this. And it's important for me because I got, you know, Kyle, my barbecue customer that comes throughout the year and leaves me cash. So I'm trying to keep, you know, good, uh, a good amount of pecan out there for them. They're about to come get, but yeah, you see several. Here's a big one right here. Yeah, I'll get a lot of logs from that right there. On top of that, I still gotta be careful, but yeah, they're set up for me nicely. Uh, there's one there. So yeah, looks like some good straight sections of pecan logs. I'll better get a lot of wood. I'll set you up, get some video of cutting some of this pecan here. Hey guys, give y'all a quick update real quick. Got a bunch of pecan loaded up in the front. Continue to build up my water oak stack as well in the truck. There is a little bit of water oak in here, but obviously it's primarily pecan and man, I hit the jackpot. For sure, really excited about it. I just keep working this pile, uh, getting sticks and all the little twigs off the main logs. But there's a lot of good log sections. Y'all didn't see that uh, in the first clip when I showed you the pile and there's another one below it There's a lot of debris on top of it, but it looks pretty straight. I don't know if you can see the outline there So yeah, there's a lot of good log sections in here. Obviously, I can't Mess with that massive piece piece right there, but some of these medium-sized pieces Get a lot of firewood from it and they're straight. I'm hoping there's not gonna be a lot of knots in them Doesn't look like there will be so yeah, I'm gonna keep working on this this pile here and take advantage of the dryness uh, I mean, if it was wetter, I'd be worried about possibly getting my truck stuck, you know, in the mud, you know, with being weighed down, especially. So I'm going to get as much as I can uh, out of this pile here today and load my truck up as much as possible, you know, to bring to the wood yard. But yeah, huge score, the pecan. A lot of good logs in here. Real excited about it. <laughs>
Hi guys, I'm back at the wood yard now. It's about 11 o'clock now. So yeah, I got a full load for sure. I uh, want to take advantage of the good conditions there at Hunter's Place, you know, while it's dry and not wet, because obviously I always worry about it, you know, getting stuck or being muddy, you know, if it's damp, that kind of thing. So it's real dry right now. As you can see, really good load. Uh, pecan, all in here. And uh, behind it, a uh, water oak. Probably got a little more water oak, to be honest with you. And pecan and i got plenty of pecan left over where i was cutting that in that last clip that you saw uh but uh there you know there's a lot of limbs and stuff i need to get off the top some of them logs and it's getting tired and i need to get home a certain time too so went ahead and decided to cut up some easier easier logs of water oak a couple of the piles i cut from you know it's a little bit easier to get to so i went ahead and cut some more water oak as you can see yeah i got a full load for sure now I'm just going to back up in here. Here's my water oak pile. I already started some new. Yeah, that's the newer wood, obviously, the last season wood. That's the wood I'm trying to sell. And you see all the other piles I got. I started a pile of hickory over here, too, by the way, guys. I know some of y'all are make it, maybe confused that started watching me last year. You know, I was primarily doing firewood-related videos. So, yeah. Yeah, if you don't know, uh, obviously, I do lawn care primarily. Yeah, that's, that's mainly why I do most of my videos on, but yeah, I'll be doing a lot of firewood videos, you know, from now on through the winter. Now I think it's slowing down with lawn care, so yeah. Yeah, show you a little bit of my progress. I'm re really excited about the hickory pile I got started. Uh, I don't get hickory as much in terms of the logs themselves, but yeah, we had a good load a couple weekends ago that I brought in. Still got a good bit. I got to split up, obviously. But yeah, y'all, uh, proud of my load I got. Like I said, I'm going back up and unload the water oak right over here close to my pile then i'll do the same for the pecan so yeah really excited about the pecan i got plenty of more to come get you know later later time that kind of thing so look forward to that hey listen y'all uh as soon as i get done loading this i'll be up at the top at the front closer to the entrance and i'll show you the bins that i made and uh, i'm gonna put the sign up using the t-post and some string to kind of you know rig it up or whatever uh, to have some signage, you know, letting people know that there's firewood here available to sell. So, yeah, I'll let you know more about that here in a minute when I get done unloading the, these logs here. Talk to you soon.